Dark Academia style is surprisingly simple to pull off. It's a timeless look for any young gentleman who wants to project an image of intellect and sophistication. Fortunately, this style is easy to achieve. You just need basic staple pieces and functional accessories in certain fabrics, styles, and colors. So in this video, I will show you five more essentials that you need to create the dark academia style. So let's waste no further time and begin with number one. No dark academia closet is complete without a long overcoat. And the long coat creates a distinctly different aesthetic compared to a shorter style like a pea coat or a puffer jacket. It contributes to an image of mystery, allure, and confidence. Especially for the taller gentleman, it creates a striking silhouette when you're walking. The best color choices for this coat are black, charcoal gray, and dark navy. Your first overcoat should be plain, but after that, consider experimenting with subtle patterns like herringbone. I think it's ridiculous how many men overlook their coat. Because for a few months of the year, it's the item you'll wear more than anything. And it's the piece that people will see more than anything. A bad coat can ruin a good outfit but a good coat can only improve a bad outfit. To stay adequately warm, look for a coat made of natural fibers like wool and cashmere. This is not the piece that you want to cheap out on. Fortunately, there are some good value stores out there. For example, this overcoat by Charles Tewitt comes in a variety of dark academia colors and is priced at just $3.99. Alternatively, you could definitely find a good deal by shopping for a used overcoat too. Now we come to the second dark academia essential. You see, we humans are simple creatures. We have very direct mental associations with certain things that we see. And there is an unbreakable association in people's minds between people who wear glasses and intelligence. Now I'm blind as a bat, so my glasses are prescription, although generally I prefer to wear contact lenses. But if you don't need a prescription, that's great because it's gonna be easy and cheap for you to pick up a pair of blue light filtering or non-prescription glasses. But the style of glasses you choose will be a big determining factor in whether you look suave and intelligent or just like a geek. I recently saw Hugo Giacome of Sartorial Talks predict that in the next few years, glasses will be a huge thing in the men's style arena. I think that's a great point because people are definitely realizing how much you can use eyewear to create a personal aesthetic. The most classic dark academia style of glasses is a pair of round metal frames in gold. But you could also go for a classic style in tortoise shell. Personally, I'm becoming more and more interested in wearing different pairs of glasses. The only issue for me is that my prescription is incredibly expensive. But for most people, changing up your glasses is a way to add variety to your style for not much more than the price of a tie. A good place to buy affordable eyewear is Warby Parker. They have a range of classic styles and they actually have physical stores so you can go in and try them on. Now here is a style piece that we don't hear a lot about. The umbrella is considered more of a tool than an accessory to some people, but it has an obvious impact on the overall aesthetic of your outfit. The most common umbrella you'll see is a compact umbrella, but this is a style disaster for a man. At best, it adds zero panache to your outfit and just looks boring. At worst, it comes across as incredibly feminine. And these umbrellas rarely hold up too well either. What you need for this aesthetic, and any classic style really, is a walking umbrella. The umbrella world is a huge niche and actually can be a real rabbit hole if you want to get into it. But at the bare minimum, you need a high quality walking umbrella in black, gray, or dark navy. For the dark academia aesthetic, look for a wooden handle and a metal tip. It truly completes the gentleman look and it's a good indicator of quality also. The pleasure of owning a good umbrella is a very underrated experience, even among classic style enthusiasts. And when you own one, you'll actually be less annoyed when it's raining because then you get the chance to show off your beautiful accessory. In my opinion, the more slim the umbrella looks when it's closed, the more stylish and elegant. This one by Scully and Scully looks like the quintessential dark academia umbrella. But for a more affordable and high quality brand, check out Fulton. They produce classic styles for around just $40. Continuing with the accessories, you'll really stand out as a stylish man if you can pull off a tie 
with your dark academia outfits. You guys know I love the tie and I find myself incorporating one into my outfits more and more every day. But why am I saying a striped tie specifically for this aesthetic as opposed to something like a knit tie? Well, similar to the glasses, it's all about our associations. Striped ties have a long history with boarding schools and Ivy League universities which are the foundations and biggest inspirations for this aesthetic. And in the US, the rep tie is clearly defined as part of the preppy style. And I consider dark academia to be a variation on this aesthetic. But to continue the image of mystery and allure, look for darker colors. Burgundy is a great tone for this, as is bottle green. You can also look for dark grays, navy, and purple. I would avoid anything with more than just a subtle stripe of black. Even with the dark academia aesthetic, black looks too harsh and serious. It's simply not as stylish. Striped ties are literally everywhere and are very popular at stores with the old money and preppy aesthetic. Ralph Lauren, J. Crew, Brooks Brothers. If you are new to ties, look for one made of silk, cotton, or wool. A polyester or satin tie will look cheap and immature, which the dark academia style certainly is not. So something like this piece by Brooks Brothers would be a solid option. Now we come to my fifth and final essential for the dark academia style. So as I said, this style is perfect for the winter, and a winter essential is certainly a pair of gloves. Much like the umbrella, gloves are something pretty much everyone owns and it can be done badly or so stylishly. To achieve this aesthetic, you want a pair of leather gloves in black or brown. Or if you're a little flamboyant, you could get a second pair in oxblood or explore options in two-tone leather. Leather gloves look significantly more adult and sophisticated than any pair of fabric gloves. And if you want to create the dark academia aesthetic more distinctly, there are some extra details you can look out for. How about a strap with a button fastener on the wrist? Another option you have is to look for cashmere cuffs. If you particularly like your gloves, this cuff is sure to catch people's attention and make sure they notice them. And if you're really into gloves, you could consider some crochet or tweed detailing. Dents Gloves is a fantastic resource for high quality classic styles. And that's where all of these gloves that you've just been looking at are from. They also made the gloves worn by James Bond in the movie Skyfall. Gentlemen, thank you to everyone who asked for this video. There is a lot more to explore with the Dark Academia aesthetic, and I think this could be an ongoing series. So let me know in the comments if you're a fan of this Dark Academia style, and you would like to see more videos as we go on and explore more style essentials. This video is a part two, so if you haven't already, I'm sure you would enjoy the part one. This one is a little less into the accessories and more the staple pieces of your closet. And I show you some of the Dark Academia clothes that I like to wear, including a new purchase that I am recently very excited about. So until the next one, gentlemen, thank you as always for watching.